Hey guys, it's me, Made of Jen, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've been up to. So today is couch day! <laughs> so me and the fiancé put in an order for a couch last month from Bob's Furniture. So originally we went into the store around March if I'm not mistaken and we went in there. I, I went in on a Friday by myself and I looked around for a couch because we need a couch. I'm going to show you guys a couch in a bit. But I went in there on a Friday and then I told the fiance, I sent him like snaps and stuff like videos like oh look at this, look at this, look at this and he's like we'll go tomorrow so we went on saturday and there was this very very friendly lady i don't remember her name uh but she is at the one in um in midtown la so if you look for the bob's furniture in midtown she is there she was very 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 helpful very friendly we were gonna buy the couch from her when we went back but she was busy with another customer, so we actually got the couch from someone else. Her name is Rhea, if I'm not mistaken. Very, very, very helpful. If you are anywhere in the LA area and you are looking for some furniture at Bob's Furniture, I do suggest you go to Midtown and go ask for her. She was very friendly. She keeps, she has been calling me. She has been keeping up with everything with the couch from here, from when we ordered it until now. But... We went uh, that Saturday and the lady was like, you need to, like if you order it today, you'll get it the first week of April. Like you need to order it now because this couch is usually back ordered a lot. You have to wait usually two to three months. But if you, you get it today, I can get you guys in for the first week of April. And the fiance was like, we'll think about it. So... <laughs> He thought about it and by the time we went back, which was in April, we went back in April, he went, he thought that if we went back in April, they would have it when we went back, but they didn't. <laughs> we went back and they told us it wasn't available until the first week of June. So yeah, that's where we're, we were stuck at. So we were just like, screw it, we need a couch. The couch we have, which let me show you guys right now because it's time for you guys to see this a couch. So this couch that you guys see right in front of you, sorry, I know you see my electric blanket right there. <laughs> um, but this couch right here is a small little sectional. We spent 400 bucks on it at Walmart. This is supposed to be like our temporary couch. Originally, we decided to get this couch and have it for about a year to maybe two years depending on how long we would hold out for and obviously uh, how long we would be able to save up for a better couch. But it's been a year. We bought this, I believe, right when the pandemic started or a little bit after. And it has been used and abused by this little cutie pie right here. Hi, Tinky Boogie. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? I love you. Excuse her. She looks a little dirty. She's getting a bath today. Huh, my Tinky Boogie. Oh my God, you are so cute. Anyhow. But yes, it has been used and abused by this one. She has a thrown up on it. Uh, right there. Right there. And right there. And this was literally all this year. <laughs> she... We lasted almost the whole year without it being stained. And then... We were giving her some wet food and I guess it upset her stomach every time so she threw up. And then she also threw up on one of our pillows which we don't have anymore. We got rid of it because she threw up on the pillow. But this is, you know, a basic sectional. It is, like, there is no cushion. Like, my, this side still has some cushion because I lay on it so my butt sits right there and then my feet here. So obviously there's not a lot of pressure here. But the fiancé lays across here. And there's dips everywhere already because, you know, his booty badonk donk over there. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you, baby. <laughs> but uh, this is actually the first place I ever moved out to on my own. Like, literally on my own. I bought all my furniture. I have bought my bed, my desk, 
pretty much everything you see in here other than obviously like the TV, the couch, <laughs> and maybe like the fridge. Uh, a couple of stuff here and then. Me and the fiance bought together, but before he moved in with me, a lot of these things I bought them by myself. I actually did not used to have a living room. I used to just live in my actual bedroom. I used to watch TV there, eat TV there, do everything there. And this room used to be my film room when I was trying to start a YouTube. Obviously it didn't happen during that time and this became like my workout room. But then when the fiance moved in, he's like, no, we need to have a living room. We need to separate the bedroom and the living room because, you know, I grew up that way. Like my whole life. I would get home and go straight into my room and just chill there all day. Even on vacation, I would be in my room all day. So I didn't like know how to distinguish how to spend time in a living room and a bedroom. So yeah, it's it, it took some time to get accustomed to, but now I'm like a living room person. <laughs> so you guys are going to see me really quick just clean up. The delivery guy is supposed to be here at 2 30 if I'm not mistaken. They gave us a three hour window from 1245 to 345, but I actually checked the tracking right now and let me see my phone. Oh snap, it changed. Oh, it changed. Oh, I think they're gonna get here, so I need to hurry up. They have like obviously a route and they have to drop off a bunch of stuff as they go. Uh, we are stop 12. They are currently on stop number 10 when i checked this an hour ago they were on stop six so either a lot of people did not answer or i don't know what happened this is like the one thing i really do like about bobs you can track it they give you a three hour window of when you're gonna get there and they actually call you every time they could get in a space for you we paid for the delivery we paid for the, ins the five-year insurance because we got a power recliner. So the power recliner was just a hundred dollar difference from the manual one and we just felt like it was just more convenient and we got the five-year warranty because the fiance did tell me that usually the motors on those power recliners tend to die out after a certain amount of years. So we wanted to put the insurance just in case. I think the insurance was like a hundred dollars for five years. So that's not too bad. That's like 20 bucks every year for insurance on something that goes wrong with the couch. They said stains, manufacturer, if the motor dies, whatever the case may be, we will see. I'll check in with you guys, obviously, as the time passes, if anything happens to the couch, to let you guys know what it is. Um, so we actually got, I'm going to tell you guys which one we got. We actually got this one, the Power Sofa the in the color gray. It's called For Forte or Forte. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that is the couch we got, the Forte. They have it in brown and they have it in gray. We got it in gray. The brown just looked too tacky for us. Well, we don't like brown, you know, to each their own. But I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up this area. I'm going to put all the cushion stuff in the bedroom. I'm going to move all the weights. I have a bunch of my weights under the couch. This is, I don't have like an actual storage. I don't have an actual like gym or a garage to work out. This used to be the garage <laughs> where I live now. Uh, and then I have a couple of bags right there. That's my wedding bag. So every time I buy stuff or we buy stuff for the wedding, uh, I put it in a bag to take to my sister-in-law's because our wedding is going to be at her house. So I'm gonna go ahead and move and excuse the mess on the table. We ate Subway yesterday. <laughs> and if you see that thing right there, those are our invites for the wedding um, and those are some bars that the fiance has yet to put up on our handles for our kitchen. The couch is gonna go right here. It's supposed to literally fit in this area with like one inch of space left over and that's what we're hoping for, that it will fit there and if it doesn't fit there, the fiance has already told me we're still taking the damn couch because we need the couch, we need the couch he, his back is hurting from being on this couch and chilling there. I obviously don't care, but my butt is hurting now because I did create a dent in the butt area where I lay down. 
So let's go ahead and get started. called him because he's the primary number on the account it was technically my number but um then we added his number so then it became his num his number the primary number even though everything's under my name but he just called me and he just told me that they called him and they told him that they might be delayed on the delivery and we're kind of like what and they told him that it might not get delivered today because they're delayed and i'm just like what i just checked the tracking thing it said they were gonna get here at 145 so he told me that they told him that they will probably get here we'll, we'll see where they're at after 130 but i'm still gonna disarm this couch and clean up because I still gotta be ready in case they do deliver it today. <laughs> so let's just get started. ever obviously you guys saw all the stains so <laughs> this is why you should always clean your couch look at all this dirt in between oh my god because this is technically a sectional slash futon type of couch as you guys can tell you could put the seats all the way back lay down chill you know now that I think about it we should have done this a lot well whatever it's too late now <laughs> but it is super dirty so I'm just going to grab my broom. So you have to go under the couch and there's like a zipper thing under it. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to disarm this. I, I really don't remember how we've armed it. I'm gonna okay, it's I gotta go here. Oh I gotta stand Okay. The worst part is the zipper is like the zipper's on this side and it goes all the way around like that. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna Okay. 
So I have my little toolbox, you know. We have a tool bag, obviously. So I have this one that has all these little octagon looking ones. So I'm gonna go under there and we're gonna figure it out. Oh, so maybe I should bring my phone, right? With the flashlight. It's like it's. I'm not gonna be able to finish it, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take it out as it's like I'm I'm glad I even took out the one piece. about five minutes and that was three minutes ago. Okay. Oh, 
I'm about to quickly sweep up this area. So that was all the trash. It's a lot of trash. And there's just a little socks. No recoge nada. O recoge nada. Not enough. Oh my god, it's so bad. Now I'm gonna mop. I think it's been more than five minutes. I'm going to call. I'm done. Guys, I am so freaking sweaty right now. I'm super sweaty. I moved both portions of the couch. Took the stupid legs off super fast because I got that message that they were going to get here in like five minutes. So right now I'm going to go outside and I'm going to go check if they're outside so I can go open the gate and you're most likely going to see them come in here. Oh and I have to put on a mask. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay so the delivery guy's not here yet. I went outside, he's not here, and as soon as I was walking back right now, uh, I just got a text message that said, hey, by the way, they're five minutes away. And I'm like, uh, I got that same message like 10 minutes ago. So where are they at? <laughs> I'm gonna go outside, and when I come back in, you guys are gonna hopefully see me in here with the guy. And then I'll show you guys outside.
podcast. <risa> Ok, mija, que tengas feliz día. ¿Te Gracias. Te van a, van a mandar un email. Confirming that it was delivered, right? Plus the survey. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give you glowing review. Ok, thank you, honey. Thank you. Alright, have a good day. You too. Oh, oh my god, we have a couch. Yes, bitches. Oh, wait, what is this? Alright. Oh my god. The couch has been placed. It looks humongous in this little area, but who gives a rat's ass? Look at it. We have a new couch, guys. Oh, thank God. You guys don't understand. The struggle was so real for a long, long, long time on the couch because even before we got, I got rid of the other couch that you guys saw, we had this big couch, which was comfy. It was like an actual couch, but we were like, it's time to get rid of it because we had it for a while. And then now we have this couch. <sighs> okay. The guys are super duper friendly, by the way. So again, I am going to 100% recommend Bob's Furniture. If you are looking into getting a couch, a bedroom. I don't know about the bedroom furniture. I did have someone on my account tell me that um, the bedroom frames break easily. So I don't know. I obviously I've never had one of their bedroom furniture. I, this is my first piece of Bob's furniture ever. So I don't know, obviously. But you know, you could take their word for it. I don't know. Um, we were also gonna get a bed frame from them as well, but we decided not to because we were gonna get one instead from Ikea, which is gonna be like a mission because you know, it's Ikea, you have to build everything. Uh, <laughs> but I am super excited for this couch. I'm a little sweaty, so that's why I don't want to sit on it yet. Um, but I am going to sit on it. Oh, it's so comfy. <gasps> okay. So if you guys saw my cleaning up the backyard, <laughs> Clean, well, my front yard because this is technically my front yard uh, video. You guys saw that the grill, there was a charcoal grill and then there was an electric grill and then there was a bunch of like stuff right there. So yesterday I actually got up. I didn't record it because I was just like, I just want to get it over with. So I removed everything. It's over there. I don't know if you guys see the grill. The two grills that we had right there. And there's the old couch. So the main problem we had or we were worried about when we ordered this is that it wasn't going to go through because of this metal plate you guys see here. So this metal plate almost became a problem right now. They, they were trying to bring it in. But it was exactly as tall as that top metal you guys see there. So they were able to bring it in here. Put it in this corner which the fiance said you don't need to move it. It'll fit. Bam, take that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love him. Um, but they dragged it through here. The box is a pretty big box. I'm going to show you guys a picture of how big the box was. They, they put a rag right here on the floor. And they opened up the box. And you guys saw them. They were in here building the couch. They brought everything in. Get chismosa. Okay, so this couch is $6.99 here in California. I don't know if it's any other different price anywhere else. If you go online, I believe it's $6.99. It's called the Fort Forte Forte couch. This is the electric, um, the power. They call it the power. I We did not go for the manual. The manual is $5.99. So if you want to get a manual, you can go ahead and get that. The only difference between obviously the manual and the power is that the power you can control how much you want to lean forward compared to the manual where once you lift up the lever it just goes straight back so this couch right here has obviously as you guys see the power level and it has a usb port so this is very convenient to charge but i'm going to show you guys i'm pressing the button and this is as far as it goes you guys see it it goes all the way like this and he put it forward enough where it's not going to hit the back. Um, he told me he would have pushed it a little bit more. 
but the extension cord I gave him um, is not flat so he was just like I don't want to risk you know messing up that outlet so he did that but what do you guys think and it's on this side and on that side that um, that what is it the reclines the middle one does not recline which is fine we're okay with it but here is the one thing that sold us also other than the reclining part you can pull this forward and it becomes into this little center thing where obviously me the fiance can both chill have our food our drinks right there chilling while we are watching tv <laughs> so that was our main selling point like he wanted to get the bigger one um the bigger one was going to fit on this wall though not on this side like i originally wanted but this is what we got this is what we got i'm super excited about this couch you guys have no idea how badly i've always wanted a, a reclining couch but they've been so expensive i honestly think 6.99 is a perfect price obviously you get taxes you get you have to pay for delivery and all this other stuff so obviously it accumulates i think we are paying a little bit under a thousand dollars for this couch because we did get the five-year warranty you know um we got we paid for the delivery the delivery the delivery was like 119 dollars but the delivery includes them coming in here taking it out of the box and they build it for you as you guys saw so i honestly think this is well well worth it <sighs> super worth it <laughs> and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see any more of these home videos i will more than gladly show them to you um as of now i don't think we have anything else that we're going to buy uh maybe our bed furniture but that's like more along the way and also we're going to um fix our closet we're gonna break down the closet and we're gonna extend it and so we can have more space and get rid of some of the furniture because our room is very stuffed so I will bring you guys along with that later on whenever we do that. Um, but until then, if you guys like this video, please make sure to like it. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.